This is a video for Science 7. We are looking at what happens to bird feathers when they get in an oil spill. We have some goose feathers from the craft store and we are going to dip them in our simulated crude oil. This is vegetable oil with cocoa powder. Okay, and when we dip them in, you can see our feathers get all gunked up and the oil makes all the fluffy insulating value leave the feathers. The birds also can't fly when they're in this. It's pretty sad for the birds. So our question is, can we separate that oil from our feathers? We have three treatments. We have cold water, we have hot water, and we have warm soapy water. So we'll try out the cold water first. We got fluffy feather. You can see some of it comes off and immediately forms little balls. And we'll try one of the flight feathers too. Then our hot water. Again, quite a bit is still sticking to our feathers. Try our flight feather too. So you can see that the dissolved chocolate kind of comes out a bit more. And then finally our warm soapy water. You can see that works a bit better. So the soap kind of acts to emulsify and remove a lot of that oil. And here are our results. You can see our cold water treatment washed off some of the some of it, but a lot of our oil is left behind. Our hot water took off more, but the feathers still are quite coated with oil. The warm soapy water worked pretty well, but you can see there's still some left and those feathers are still really soapy. That would be pretty bad for the birds when they're trying to preen and put their, their own natural oil back on the feathers. So really it's just better if the birds don't encounter an oil spill at all. It's really hard to separate the oil from anything that's alive. And here's what's left of our rinse water. Here's our ice water. You can see there's an oil slick on top. You can see our hot water was able to dissolve some of the material dissolved in the oils and our soapy water has a lot of gunk in it.